Alexander, how did your teacher at International English School inspire or support you during your studies? Oh yeah, that's spot on. Because if it hadn't been for the contribution of Miss Mahuza, I guess I wouldn't have got even a six. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because yeah, her I guess help was mainly like spiritual rather than practical. I would even remember talking with her about my mental health or the mental health of my classmates, <laughs> and、uh, yeah, just her motivation and the fact that she's so well-read, intelligent, and insanely beautiful <laughs> was something that determined my again success. Oh, that 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 that's interesting. That's so cool. Yeah. Hello, everyone. You are welcome to Incast Number Ten. Today we have our wonderful guests, Alexander and Anna. Alexander, Anna, you are welcome to Incast. Can you please introduce her, yourselves? Oh well, should I start? <laughs> yeah, ladies first.、Well, my name is Anna. I am 23 years old, and I have been studying English for five or probably even six years.、Mm, I'm a guitar player, and I work as a data analyst at a local company. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Alexander. Well, so my name is Alexander. I'm 17 years old, and I'm also primarily a guitarist, a guitar <laughs> player. And yeah, musician,、great. but I've been studying for、uh, like six months in intonation, and I got a, an eight point five in IELTS. Congratulations! Thank you. Yeah, guys, con congratulations! Please welcome my, you know, congratulations on on your wonderful achievement in in this test. I know how、Thank、hard、you. it is to achieve such a high score in this test from my own experience. <laughs>、uh, why don't you very quickly? You know, introduce your subsections in the IELTS test.、Mm, sure. So I had eight point five for listening and reading sections, and sevens for speaking and writing.、Mm, I guess I wasn't lucky with the topics on the speaking because I was really weak at the environment-related topics.、Mm -hmm. So that's why.、Mm, and overall, my band score is eight. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alexander. Yeah, my overall score was eight point five, and I had eight point five from listening and、uh, speaking, and nine from reading, with a seven in writing. That's amazing. Thank you so much.、Uh, believe me, I've prepared wonderful questions for you guys. <laughs> I hope、Thank、you're you. going to enjoy the questions. All right, let's get started. My first question goes to Alexander. Can you tell us what motivated you to aim for such a high score in IELTS? Well. First of all, I first found out about IELTS because of my brother, I guess, because he got an eight、uh, studying at Intonation as well three years ago, and、uh, I was really impressed by it as a child. And then, since I'm a musician and I want to make a living somehow and earn my livelihood, I want to become an English teacher as well. That's why I decided to take an IELTS test. Yeah, thank you. Anna, what were your main motivations for taking the IELTS, and how did you set your goals for the exam?、Mm, well, I had two of them. One of them is my childish dream. I always wanted eight, and it feels impossible. Like when I was a child, I was looking at eight band achievers, and I was like, "Oh God, I would never do that. <laughs> It's so hard." But when I got seven point five. I realized that I can handle with that, and also I had to take IELTS exam for my master's degree. So to have an opportunity to study abroad, I should set up the goals. So one of the goals was taking a high IELTS because the discount depends on the score. Yeah, I was going to ask this question. I was going to ask whether band eight is the requirement, or、mm. does it give you any extra, you know, privileges and benefits? Usually, six point five and higher is required. Seven is a perfect band score for the master's degree. But if you have more than that,、mm -hmm. the percentage of discount is going to rise. So even if you have nine, probably you would be able to study free. Yeah, free. yeah. The the higher the better. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Alexander. Is it your first IELTS experience? Yes. Oh,、well, yeah. That's, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Actually, it is. Why Why do you think so many candidates score eight point five after you know number of attempts, and you did it well, on your first?、Attempt? My personal take on that is that、uh, IELTS score. Is not always、um, correlated with、um, only your capabilities, but so, but also with luck. So sometimes candidates they just、uh, get unlucky, but sometimes some candidates they find excuses for not working hard、yeah. as well. So maybe the perfect combination of luck and、uh, hard work will give you that eight point five eventually. Wonderful, wonderful. Anna, are you going to retake the exam? 
Well, I'm not sure because I have taken IELTS for four times already and I'm pretty tired of that. Probably in several years I would try to go for the 8.5, but I guess it would take me like a year of preparation because the gap between 8 and 8.5 is huge. Oh, yes. What about 9? Is there any chance that you will try for 9? Uh, no, I don't need that. So I'm not going to become a teacher like Alex and uh, I don't need that. So my English level is enough to work in an IT field. So eight is more than enough but you, you mean Alex is a teacher he's going to become a uh, teacher he told that yeah, so he understand. wants to teach others English I don't want to yeah. I need English for my job and yeah. it's not related to English itself so. all right yeah thank you so much Alexander what were some of your most effective study habits or routines well I guess that I in general contribute my um, attribute my success, quote unquote, in IELTS <laughs> to vocabulary mainly and to learning new words. And one of the most powerful techniques was uh, basically just revising vocabulary regularly. So I would even remember that I uh, like dedicated two or three hours per just revising words per day. Wow. Yeah. So you attribute most of your success to your you know, strength in vocabulary. Yeah. And students always ask, like, should we memorize new words or should we understand them? What's what's your take on this? Well, if you understand the usage of the world, you will necessarily, even if you don't want, you will rem uh, memorize it. Yeah. Because you see, uh, if you really delve into the intricacies of the usage of a particular wo word, you eventually will use it. Yeah, yeah. sure. Thank you. Anna, can you share some of your favorite study techniques that help helped you prepare for the IELTS test? Mm, I'm not sure if you have heard of that. I use Pomodoro technique. Mm -hmm. It's when you stay focused for 25 minutes without any breaks and then you have a break for five minutes. It really helps me because sometimes it's really hard to study one, two and more hours without any any break and also I would say that my main advice for the students would be focus on your weak skills because it's easier to do what you already capable of doing so just mm, I'm good at listening and every time I start practice test I want to do only listening because I like that it's easy for me it's nice but when it goes to writing I'm like oh no, <laughs> I don't want to open that question. Yeah. So it's always better to focus on your weaknesses and improve your stance a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I learned really interesting thing from your answer. You're, what, what you're saying is start your day with uh, the part of IELTS you are most confident with because mm -hmm. this is going to make you make you happy. Yes. This is going to make you motivated. Like yeah. if, if I yes, understood correctly. Yeah. Yes. Okay, guys, like we've learned a lot from you. Now let's move on to talk about how International School helped you to achieve such a wonderful scores. Alexander, how did your teacher at International English School inspire or support you during your studies? Oh, yeah, that's spot on because if it hadn't been for the contribution of Miss Mahuza, I guess I wouldn't have got even a six <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> because Amazing. yeah her I guess help was mainly like spiritual rather than practical I would even remember talking with her about my mental health or the mental health of my classmates <laughs> and uh, yeah just her motivation and the fact that she's so well-read intelligent and insanely beautiful <laughs> was something that determined my again success that, 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 that's interesting. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Anna, in what ways did your teacher help you stay motivated and focused on your IELTS preparation? Mm, I would say that it's in the same way with Alex. So it's more like motivational. My teacher always supported me like, you already have 7.5. So you just need to focus on some minor things to improve a little bit your grammar, your, I don't know, pronunciation and all the stuff. But don't, don't worry, you are already good even if you half again 7.5 everything is fine and he also gave me some advanced exercises so apart from our main homework he suggested me several books on writing and also some exercise that I wouldn't find on the internet so extra homeworks and also motivation from his side was really helpful yeah we can see that the role of your teachers were yes. you know He's wonderful really now, now let's talk about 
what resources you worked with. Alexander, what resources, for example, books, websites, and apps did you find most helpful? Well, firstly, I can say with certainty that I'm not a fan of textbooks, you know, Mm -hmm. and I've always relied only on YouTube and on listening to my favorite podcasts or lecturers. So I'm a big fan of Jordan Peterson or the YouTube channel called School of Life. Um, Apart from that, ChatGPT was something really important for me, especially for writing. So I would use it on a daily basis, I guess. And like, if it hadn't been again for ChatGPT, I guess I wouldn't have scored <laughs> like seven. So a second mm, teacher. Yeah, second teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Anna, which learning materials did you rely on the most and why? Mm, I guess I had a combination of intonation materials. So the books, videos, app, but for the IELTS level, we do not have any materials in the app, like, I mean, the homeworks, but we have several books downloaded in the library it was pretty helpful also my teacher supported me with some materials from his library and i also used chat gpt for assessing my writing because when you explain how to assess on the band score it can give uh, wide feedback mm-hmm. on your writing and help helps to improve it um, and i also used Engnovate website. It's a simulation of computer-based IELTS exam, so I decided to take computer-based exam because of my typing speed. I type much faster than handwrite, so um, I tried to practice on computer and it also helped a lot. Yeah, thank you so much. Can you describe a memorable classroom activity or lesson that had a big impact on your learning, Alexander? Oh. I guess that each and every second that I spent with Miss Mafuza was memorable for me. Again, because of her personality in general, I guess. But the most memorable day for me was certainly the party, the New Year's party that we threw with her because I sang some songs and we would just have a really memorable party. But in general, the fact that we just talked with her a lot uh, helped me, as I said, with mental health and with uh, like putting my self-doubt on mute yeah, thank you. What was one of your favorite classroom activities and how did it help you prepare for the test, Anna? Mm, I would choose two of them. Mm, speaking mock exams and also completing sentences for the writing essays. I guess the common thing between them is that I really liked to communicate with the students and uh, give them feedback and listen for their feedback. And sometimes when you try to explain to someone your opinion or their mistakes, you can come up with some thoughts about your own skills. Like, oh, I've never thought about this in that way. Like. Yeah. Oh, this is my weak side. I cannot explain why he's wrong, for example. So it's kind of interesting. It was interesting to discuss different topics. Our teacher always prepared interesting topics for discussion, for speaking with my classmates. I really liked it and enjoyed it. Thank you. All right. Now, guys, if you don't mind, I have a little grammar task for you. I want you to show how good you are at grammar, right? Okay. Potentially. Yeah, yeah potentially. potentially. <laughs> so if you're ready, you'll ring the bell, all right? And mm-hmm. then give your answers. Uh, please complete this sentence correctly. If I, uh, in brackets, have more time, I, in brackets, practice speaking skills even more. Like if I had had more time, I would have practiced my speaking skills even more. All right. Thank you. Oh, same answer. The same. All right. C- can you explain why you used had had and would have practiced? Yeah, Alexander? it's like third conditional, what's called. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you have to uh, browse through the internet to find out what <laughs> sure. uh, third conditional is. Yeah. Do, do, do you think that grammar is important in uh, achieving success in life? For my money, it, it is quite important. But in general, you can find some ways to... Uh, like give a precise answer even without uh, let's say leveraging really uh, high level structures I guess all right Anna what's your opinion on this well I would say it's an important part of your score but not the main one so it's better to speak with mistakes than not to speak at all it's a 
just it's a helper it's a booster for your band score but not the main part yeah I, I was asking this question because some students think you don't need I, I like English grammar if you're preparing for IELTS no you need that but yeah. you shouldn't focus only on that there are more aspects like vocabulary coherence cohesion and also your fluency so you should focus on every field yeah <clears throat> All right, as as Anna said at the beginning of our like incast, like you're not going to love IELTS as a whole. There are some parts which can yeah. be challenging for you, which can be, you know, pain in the neck sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let, let's let's talk about it. Alexander, what was the most challenging part of the IELTS for you and how did you overcome it? Well, overall, I guess that even in in every section there are some pitfalls that you can fall into. That's why uh, probably each, every section was equally important and difficult for me but uh, probably with writing I guess there were much more problems than with other sections uh, mainly it's related to the nature of uh, the writing exam in general so the way how they assess you is difficult and they have really clear-cut uh, frameworks of how they are gonna assess you yeah C can you please elaborate on how 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 you overcome it Oh yeah, ChatGPT was a great deal of help <laughs> in that case, because you see, uh, it can give you valuable feedback on how this sentence structure, how your sentence should be structured or something like that, or whether you're using the right words when you're speaking, when you're writing, uh, and with the precision of your vocabulary, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Anna, what section of the IELTS test did you find the most difficult and how did you tackle it? Mm -hmm. As for many students, writing is the most difficult section, not only because of the way it is conducted, but also because of the topics. For example, on my during my mock exam, I had the topic about museums and its impact on the local citizens. And I was like, oh, what? I have never thought about that. So for me, the like the most challenging part is coming up with ideas how to answer because when you have idea you can just I don't know just write it and add some sentences details ex examples and it's easy but find that idea is not easy and chat GPT also is a helper and I guess you have to do the brainstorm every day like search for difficult topics in IELTS writing and just try to come up with ideas and then to explain them to write on them so I guess that's yeah, the thank advice. you uh, I guess you guys know that I like preparation for IELTS is not only about practicing your language and learning how the test is structured and how how it works. As as Alexander mentioned, it's it's also about mental and spiritual spiritual preparedness, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So let, let's let's touch on this aspect of test preparation. Alexander, how did your friends and family support you during your IELTS preparation? Oh, so my brother helped me in the spiritual sense as well. Not only Miss Mahfouza, but my brother. So as I mentioned, he's also an 8.0 holder. And um, in general, he would tell me things like, um, brother, you have to plug away if you want to uh, achieve something yeah, or sure. something like that. And I think that I even um, have done more than I should have done in order <laughs> to get it. Yeah. So sometimes there were days when I practiced for more than 12 hours or something like that. Oh. Yeah, that's due to my brother. Um, big hi and thank you to him. Yeah. If he's watching it. Yeah, yeah. Of so, course he's watching. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess my brother and uh, in general the setting um, and the psychological states of your family members is something really important if you want to achieve anything in life and not only um, IELTS. Let's what say. about your friends? Were they supporting you or trying to distract you? Mm, Come on, I stop it. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah th there were people who uh, were trying to like, who actually served as a hurdle rather than uh, <laughs> help for me. Yeah. But there were people who like, for example, Abdul Waris is a, a great friend of mine. He's a true bookworm, as he calls himself. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we would have a really profound conversations with him about uh, the nature of IELTS in general, whether we need it or not. And yeah, again, I'm eternally grateful to him. <laughs> so so overall, you think that the role of parents and family members and friends yeah. is important in the preparation? Yeah, it's like part and parcel of my yeah, preparation sure. in general. Thank you. What about you, Anna? In what ways did your support system contribute to your success in the IELTS test? Mm. 
By saying support system, you mean like the environment in intonation or like my friends and relatives also? Let's say all of them. All of them, okay. So, um, in case of intonation, the application itself was pretty helpful, especially when I was at upper intermediate level because I have a full-time job and it's hard to make homework on papers, so it was pretty convenient to do it in the app. And also, our academic support conducted mock IELTS every Sunday. It was her holiday, but she tried to motivate us and practice with us. I really appreciated that. Um, also, different events, ability to take the mock exam inside the intonation helped me because I've tried it and we had a conversation there. Um, what else regarding the friends and family at first my family didn't understand like why do you need that yeah. like you already have 7.5 why do you need get more and i was like it's my dream i want i want to get it because it was impossible for me in the childhood so i just i just need to get that yeah, <laughs> yeah so and my friends are like i guess you know mm, Sometimes when you are in the preparation, you just need some help with the household, for example, with the food, some basic things, because you just don't have time for everything except for your study and I don't know, job in my case. So they just ordered me some food. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Yeah, that, that was, that was yes. the biggest help, right? Yes. <laughs> Are you ready for another challenge? Oh, okay. We're not. <laughs> let's <laughs> We're go not, but... Yeah, let's try. What can we do? So, correct the sentence if necessary. Neither of us were sure about the exact format of the speaking test at first. Well, oh. Oh, All right. it's working. So, neither of us was sure, but um, I guess we can't say where. It depends. It's not a mistake, but it's better to say neither of us was sure about something. All right. Yeah, thank of course. You. I guess in spoken English we can say were. Yes. But in formal one it would be was. Yeah, thank you. But what would you say if you guys gave the wrong answer? You missed the point. You were too much focused on grammar. Look at the sentence. It says, mm -hmm. neither of us were sure about the exact format of the speaking test neither at first. So sure, I yeah. think that you were sure. That's why you scored <laughs> very high. <laughs> you got the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. All right, guys. Uh, I believe that in Ternation, we have thousands of students who, you know, set the bar very high and mm -hmm. they're planning to score high scores in IELTS mm -hmm. like you. And I need your advice. I need your guidance for the future candidates of IELTS at Internation mm -hmm. and in our country. Alexander, what advice would you give to future st students aiming for a high score at Internation English School? Well, my main piece of advice that I can give is probably um, be self-disciplined uh, because, you know, in this era that we live in, it's really important for us to not to turn a blind eye to the way how we live our life in general. So sometimes you have to sacrifice small things for the, uh, for in the case you are aiming for something higher, for example, like a, a great IELTS score or something like that. And when you're achieving something, don't be complacent with your results. Uh, keep moving forward and don't, don't really beat yourself up in the case of failures because they are just um, basically uh, stepping stones or like things that you need to overcome in order to uh, get to that level. Yeah, thank you. Anna, oh, cool. what tips would you share with others preparing for the IELTS uh, to, to help them achieve their best score? Well, I would say that consistency is the key. It's better to study like for one hour, but every day than 12 hours in a weekend because that's really hard for our brain, for our mental health. And also, even though you are preparing, don't forget about your friends, about your family. And I guess Internation has a perfect balance in this case because the lessons are with the interactions with the games and you can have breaks during the lessons speaking out with your classmates it's really cool it helped me also a lot and also don't f don't be afraid of making mistakes it's always better to make a mistake and learn from it than being afraid of making it and not learning at all so i guess that's all right it. Thank you so much, guys, for your valuable advice. Uh, thank you for being with us. Thank you for your thank time. You. I wish you success and even better achievements in your future plans. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody. If you want to learn from 
the experts, the high achievers. Stay with us. Stay tuned in the following in-cast episodes. Thank you so much.